today's video, we're going to be breaking down Film study. This is where we take a look at the Madden Pros. My name's Cody, and let's jump right into this. Before we do that, I'm going to shout out to Leafy Greens. I'm going to leave his link in the description of this video, but he does all of my music, so you can be sure to check him out over there on SoundCloud. And let's check out Madden Bowl here. Now, Pavin, in my opinion, has one of the best gun bunches in the game, if not the best gun bunch in the game. So, just wanted to jump in here. Here we're going to do some adjustments, but I want to talk about how Joe, in my opinion, probably one of the better defensive players um, this year really worked to defend Pav in here as you see starting out with gun bunch And you've got verticals now, Pav is running this little setup here You see there jokes gonna send the pressure and he's gonna start out with a user lurk And let me back that up here real quick and I want to show you kind of what What all is happening here behind the scenes? All right, so at the snap of the ball you see here Joke has his, his defense is is on set to normal right or man aligned or whatever so he's not base aligned that's why his corners are not like pinched wide out they're kind of moved around a little bit now you can see here he is sending the pressure this is dime and I'm pretty sure this is dime two three six right not one four six it's two three six DB fire two he's sending the pressure off the edges he's got cover two here okay he's got these safeties backed off now he's gonna lurk and let's see here what happens now watch what happens with Pav in here He's setting up a four vertical concept with a little flat route here. Going to do a little flat post combination, which is a really nice little route combination. And you see Joke just knows that his responsibility is to go to where the first seam is. And you see here he starts out with a pretty nice little snap uh, first play of the game pick. For those of you guys that um, have not heard of my channel before, my channel basically is devoted to helping you get better at Madden videos. And so what we're doing today is we are literally just going through and and trying to help you get a little bit better at Madden. If you are interested in getting more help, coaching, whatever, um, be sure to shoot me a text. My number's at the top right of the screen. It's also in the description. We've got a ton of stuff for you. We got tips. We got strategies. I've done a couple more of these film breakdowns with other players, other professional players. And hopefully this, combined with my tips and my schemes, are going to be able to help you win more games in Madden and have a little bit more fun while doing it. So, anyway, let's just uh, slide forward here into this next sequence of downs. So, same setup here. Now, this is what's really important to understand. When you're watching competitive Madden, this is one of the big takeaways that I have. Every time I watch competitive Madden, every time I play in a high-level game, what I notice is the best players make everything look identical. You see everything looks identical here. There's the pressure off the edge, and you see he's got the zig route, and Joke's going to give that up. By making everything look the same, you control the variables, right? And so the, the, they can't do as much as they normally would because you're controlling what they're going to do on a defensive side. Here you see he drops off into a coverage defense, and Pavin does a good job playmaker. And Pavin was a master at that playmaker. So that was that same wheel route post combination from verticals. And you'll notice here Pavin goes to a, a specific package. This is wide receiver post. Okay, so now Joke setting this up here. Wide receiver post, he's got a pull route, which is that vertical. He's got the post, and then he's going to motion Tory hold across on a little drag, and he's got the corner. Really, he's going to work that three-man combination. But you see, without blocking that tight end, Joke's able to get the pressure on off the edge. And you see this mind game that Joke is playing. He splits in some, then he drops into coverage. And I love that defensive strategy. He is forcing Pavin to have to adjust. Here you see post, drag, streak combination. This is the best route combination, in my opinion, in Madden history. It's been the best route combination in every Madden that I've ever played. Post, streak, drag combination just works. And as you can see there, Pavin able to get a nice little check down to the drag. What I'd like to see is, if you'll notice, Pavin is going to flip his bunch. He's going to motion players. It's What that is designed to do is designed to mess with the defense, right? Depending on what Joke does, that flip can change things. As you see there, that's a really good read by Pavin. Really, really good read on that post route. Joke goes to take the drag, and Pavin's able to hit the post over the top. Now here, Joke comes out in the wrong defense. In my opinion, that's just kind of the a, a mental mistake. You when you're on the defense side of the ball, you have a distinct advantage. Never, 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 ever pick your defensive play before your offense picks their play. 
trust me don't ever do that here you're going to see this is a, a combination this is multiple crossers you see he just doesn't have time to get it out joke is doing such a good job at mixing up his pressure he's going and that's one of the things i love about three, two three six and dime one four six is you can bluff it you can send two then you can send four then you can send six you know depending on what you're going to do here you see that you get, the, get that rollout corner and joke does a good job of getting out there but i think Pavin had that read on him so you're seeing Pavin kind of runs a, a plethora of different setups but really the one that he's going to want to run the most is the wide, wide receiver post. That's his favorite play in my opinion. But here you're going to see, so this is deep corner. And he's going to motion in this corner. So now what he's got is he's got a corner route, he's got a post right over the top, and he's got a drag. And you're going to see here, that's a good check down. It looks like he's going to go ahead and take his three. So we're going to skip ahead of the defense. Um, it's just joke running the ball. Right, we've all seen Joke running the ball, and uh, what we really want to look at here is the, is uh, Pavin offensive possessions that he's going to be able to have against this really really good Joke defense. Now, same thing, you've got there's that playmaker you see there, and Pavin just rolling out with Vic. Now again, it, there's a lot going on uh, pre-snap, but Joke is forcing Pavin to take the underneath. This deep halves with the user over the top, the Tampa two strategy is working but it's only working because of the pressure if he doesn't send the pressure the tampa 2 doesn't work right and there he sits in the pocket drills a seam route right up the middle great read all right so here you see setting up the pressure again now pavin's going to verticals and now he's going to flip it got wide receiver post coming Nope, he's going to go verticals here on the side. Flips again. You see how he flips it? It changes Joke's corners. Now the motion over. Now this was the play that, that Joke picked. So Pavin's going to have a flat going here. This is going to pull the cloud flats out of the way. This is going to create a window to throw this post route right over here. Now if Joke goes to this post route out of a cover two, Pavin's going to try to hit this wheel route up the seam thinking that he has Joke's user kind of caught in a bind here. Let's see what happens on this play. Joke's going to go here. You see Pavin's looking to go up there. Joke has really good user, and Pavin in the play's dead. Madden is a, it's a play that happens within three to five seconds, right? Just like real football, you only got a couple of seconds, and if you can win those, win those critical seconds on defense, that is really the key. You're not going to be able to stop everything, but by having good user and taking away the right things at the right time, that's what's going to make a huge difference. Combine that with a little bit of pressure, and your defense is going to instantly get better in this year's game. All right, let's check out here what he's got here. So third and four. Again, Joke's setting up this base rush here. Now, Pavin is someone that really likes to mix up a lot, mix up his plays a lot, but this is the setup he really wants to run. Wide receiver post. There's the corner, and you see there, that corner cannot get over the clouds. That corner can only get over the clouds if Pavin rolls out because Joke is containing him with his pass rush. Pavin doesn't think to roll out on that play, and Joke gets the interception. Let's, let's check out. Uh, let me show you this play one more time. So Joke is setting the pressure up here on both sides. So you see here, Pavin's blocking both. This is a two three-man route. He's got the deep post route with Joshua Cribs coming over here, wide receiver post, right? He's got the drag coming over, and then he's got a corner. This is basically deep corner, but instead of even running a dig, he's going to run a post route. And now watch what happens at the snap of the ball. The motion over crosser. This is on a little drag. Now, snap of the ball, you see what happens. Joke gets these presses on the outside. That is called a reroute. That is from cover two cloud flat. So DB fire two, the corners on the outside are in what's called soft squat zones, which means they're going to they're gonna basically not do this reroute. Because of his alignment, because Joker's man aligning, shading coverage over top, what that meant was those corners on the outside, they're going to get a reroute, which is going to basically get you this press animation right here. It's going to buy your pressure some time, but it's also going to reroute the route so they're going to force this route right here to go inside. You see both of these guys are going to get an inside release. That's because the defense is trained to protect the outside here. So you'll see here now. Now, 
Joke understands, and this all happens within about five seconds, okay? Joke understands third and four. He also understands the route combinations. When this guy's on a drag, that means this guy's on a post. This drag is not scaring anybody on third and four, right? The only two routes that's really in play here are the corner and the post. Joke understands that cloud flat is going to get out there. If Pavin were to roll out here, you see he could, but he's not because Joke's been sending all those pressures. Pavin doesn't roll out. He could have rolled out here and hit this corner, but he doesn't. It all happens so fast, and you see Pavin. Joke does a great job of starting here, and he's going to jump back over here on the post route. If Pavin were to throw this post route right here, it could be fit, it could be fit into that window, but he doesn't. Again, it's the confusion of the defense. It's the press of the defense. It's the changing of the defense that forces Pavin to have that split second of a mislapse judgment in his read. And you'll see here, Joke's now recovering on this post route. I'd like to see a pass lead up. I bet he could hit that, but he doesn't. Throws the corner out right into Joke's teeth of the defense. Great defense by Joke. This is why I go back and I tell people, when you if when you really start to go through film study, when, when, when you really get into the film study of Madden, what you'll find is someone is always open. The reason defenses are successful is can they get you to miss your reads? Can they get you to mess up your post-snap reads? There are always people open. So here you got the deep corner. Uh, this is I think this is a deep corner set up here. Get the dig. You got the post over, and then he's going to do a little zig underneath it. So Joke's still in this Tampa 2 type thing. He sends a little pressure here. Pavin with the playmaker gets him right up. Great read by Pavin. Pavin has the playmaker ability on that receiver, so when he clicks up on the right stick, he's going to be able to get it. Let's check out this play here real quick. This is that this is that combination there, corner post drag. Now I want you to show I want to show you this. You can tell that Pavin is not really comfortable against Joke's defense. And the reason you can do it is because he is missing a lot of reads. Let me show you this real quick. So Joke's coming in off the snap. Now it looks exactly the same as the last play that we just broke down with the interception, but this time Joke sends one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people at the quarterback. He sends seven people at the quarterback. Okay. He gets clicked off of his user. So he's going to jump onto Frank Clark to take this away. In theory, Pavin should have everybody open on this play. Everybody should be open on this play. Right. However, that cloud stays with that corner route just long enough. Pavin can't roll out because you see here, this guy has outside leverage. So Pavin can't roll out here. And now you're going to see that sack is all he can take. That post route was probably coming open. But the confusion of Joke's defense is what's really getting Pavin shaken up here. All right, so it goes to the same route combination. And there, Frank Clark just makes a huge play. Let me show you this again. So this, um, that was the first and 10 sack. And then does he know huddle? I think he does. No, he doesn't know huddle. All right, so check this out right here. The other thing is the clock too. Notice the clock. Um, Pavin has to get the ball to the outsides. That's another real reason why Joke is doing what he's doing defensively. Okay, so snap of the ball. You're going to see Joke sends one, two, three, four, five. He sends five. This is the base rush. And then you see that this little this middle linebacker right here is manned up on the running back. That's to basically do two things. You get a quarterback spy out of that. And then often, oftentimes if the running back's on like a block and release or whatever, he's going to do a good job of that. But you see Frank Clark just makes a great play on the ball. And there's just nowhere for Pavin to go. He has to take a sack. He runs around. Can't get out of it. And Joke's able to get him in a third and 29. So now Pavin, honestly, like, I would take – and you see he's doing a good job of taking the clock with him, right? But he's just going to go to verticals and try to bomb something. You see Joke's sending everybody. Pavin rolls out. He probably had B late. And good job there by Joke calling the timeout. And we're going to go in halftime. You'll see here, Joke's going to get a great return from Dion. I think he could have gotten a little bit better of a return there. But he's going to run one play, go to half. And let's jump through this here. And he gets the ball at halftime. So, so far, Joke's really played great defense. Pavin hit him up, hit him, um, or had one, one basic drive here. But you'll see... Pavin was gonna Pavin's gonna have a little something coming in the second half. So Joke's setting up the same pressures. You see here on the outside, he's got him in the soft squats or the court court or the I think that was soft squats right there. And you see here Pavin with that playmaker. That's literally all Pavin can do is playmaker. And let me break that down real quick because I haven't talked about this enough. 
So right here, you see joke sends four. Okay, sends four. So this Pobbin's blocking seven every time, at least so far. Um, so now this is that simple route combination, but this time he's going to run this receiver on a post route instead of a corner. And then what he's going to do is he's got this guy on a playmaker ability. What that means is when this guy's coming across, he can playmaker him this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. He can playmaker him anywhere he wants to go. So here, Joke's user is coming down this way to try to take that draggler out. So Pavin's going to playmaker him this direction on the right stick so that he goes away from Joke's user. And you'll see here, there's the playmaker and there's the dot. And that playmaker is Pavin's favorite in my opinion, his favorite ability in the game because it allows him to do a lot of things with his route combinations that make it very difficult to guard. And you see here, Joke's running a little bit of an auto flip coverage. So here's the motion over. And this is, you see here, this is the route combo he loves. Drag here, post here, corner here. The problem is he can't throw that corner route. Let's see if he gets it right here. See, there he gets the rollout and there he's able to throw both routes. He was able to throw everything he wanted right there. Right, Joke doesn't send the pressure, and because of that, Pavin's able to deliver the ball. Now he's going to check down this fullback dive. Joke did it again. He made the same mistake he made in the first half. He came out of the pass defense. He's on autopilot. Don't like that at all from Joke. You're the defense. You get the opportunity to come out in the personnel that you want to. All right, wide receiver post. He's got a streak here, and this is a good route combo right here. So again, we talk about it, streak, post route, drag route, right? Sometimes you'll see corner, post, drag. Sometimes you'll see streak, post, slant, but in general, pretty much always the same. So here, Joke doesn't send, he's playing a little bit of a coverage setting. You see here, there's the cloud reroute on the outside, cloud reroute on the outside. He's got Tampa 2 here. The guy's underneath, he's trying to take away the underneath stuff. And you see here, try to cross man that slant, and it did not work at all. As you see there, Pavin's able to deliver the ball. And see, Pavin's starting to get into a little bit of rhythm on this. And so let's see what Joke has for him here at midfield. So again, same stuff. You've got the auto flip of the defense. Sit in DB fire two is his base play. There's the zig. And there's the post. You see, um, again, that same route combination I'm talking about. So right here... Um, this is what I want to share. I want to share with you on this one right here. So when Pavin comes out in this bunch, what he's going to do is what he's been noticing is number one, the flip of the bunch, notice the flip of the bunch. Now, what he's going to do is he's wanting to run. Um, essentially what he's going to do here is this guy right here has been on a lot of drag routes. So in theory, you know, joke could just cross man aim or he could do whatever. Now Pavin's going to run him on a whip route, right? And then also does a good job against man. But he's going to whip him out here. Now that means this guy right here is going to be on that post route. That was why he flipped him. So Pavin had this guy right here was in the slot here. Because he's got a route ability on him, he could put him on a, a narrow post route. And then he can flip the play and the guy can be on a nice narrow post route coming all the way across. So that's Pavin's plan here. He's going to do that there. He's got the zig underneath and he's got the vertical route going deep. Again, same passing concept just from a different side of the field, right? He's been running to the left, been running to the left. Now he's running to the right. He's just changing the receivers that are on the same route concept. He's got somebody going deep. He's got somebody going short. And he's got somebody, somebody going intermediate. Let's see how it works out for him. See here, your, there's your dig. Boom. And he hits him. Right there, Joke's user takes the zig. So Pavin's able to hit, hit him with the post. Good play. All right, so here you've got uh, verticals. Now he's going to throw a drag out there. Now, let me break that down. That was great defense by Joke. Okay, so let's back up just a little bit. So Joke really hasn't been sitting very much pressure at Pavin, um, and I'm not quite sure why, to be honest with you. He was having a lot of success with the pressure, um, but I think he's starting to just try to lock down Pavin's routes. 
Joke's been running a lot of cover too. That's why Pav is going to this vertical play. In theory, what he's going to be able to do is he's going to send this wheel route up the side, up the sideline, and then this guy right here is going to be put in a conflict. He's either going to have to take the post or the streak route over here, or he's going to have to take that. And Pav is going to be able to hit either the route going over the middle or the route going to the wheel. Now, Pavin has been blocking seven this whole time through. So Joke has decided that he's going to play coverage defense because if Pavin blocks seven, Joke's not going to have great pressure. So Joke's just going to send three, and then he's going to have a spy on the field for Vic, and you'll see here how this works out. So snap of the ball, and let me just show you what happens here. This corner bails. This is cover four, I believe. Maybe cover three cloud. But this is this guy right here bails. Now you've got a three down lineman rush. You got a QB spy. This guy gets a nice press animation. He's going to play man to man on this guy right here. It's almost like Joke was able to read Pavin's mind because this play is perfectly set up to stop verticals. And as you can see, there's literally nothing open. He might have been able to throw that streak, but Pavin ends up having to throw it away. And you see the frustration on his face right there. All right, so second down and 10. Coming up. Also, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to join the Discord server. That is where we're going to be able to release our free offensive and defensive complete guide. Once we get 100 people in there, the link is in the description. I'd love to see you over there. It's where we can talk Madden, where you can talk with me, and also people from the community in the same place. Love Discord. And here you see there's that out streak post route combination. There he's able to click that out route in. I think he might have had a touchdown. Let's look, back, look at this one more time here. So right here, this is 2nd and 10. Now, Joke sends everyone, which I actually kind of like that call because, he, again, he hadn't been sending very many people. This time, he's going to send everybody. Doesn't get anybody free, okay? Doesn't get everybody free. And you see, Joke, Pavin has a touchdown, right? But because Joke had been taking that away, taking that away, taking that away, now he dumps down to this route, going all out on this route, and Pavin's still able to hit it. Just, just missed it. But you see the chess match between these two guys. Joke is taking something away, then he's taking another thing away, countering all the way through, and it's just a chess match. It's just a chess match with what he's able to do defensively. So here, Joke or uh, Pavin puts this. So right here, Pavin's going to send five out. So he flips the bunch. That's going to put Joshua Cribs on this little flat route, which is then going to open up the room for the seam wheel. Pavin's also going to have a post route over here, and then he's probably going to have either a baby hitch or a zig, and then probably. We'll block Winslow. Let's see what happens here. And Joke doesn't like the look. I don't know what Joke did, but I don't like the fact that he's burned two of his timeouts. And let's see if Pavin goes the same setup. He goes to his, yep, same setup here. Now let's see here. And Joke is all over the place on defense. And I don't like this setup at all from Pavin, and he's going to get caged. Joke sent everybody. <laughs> okay, so right here. Again, this is just a simple, very, very simple post, corner, in route. So Pavin's saying, I'm going to look to the corner. If that's not open, I'm coming back to the post. This guy right here is probably going to be on a cloud flat. That's why he put the flat out there to try to pull, hold, to try to pull this corner down so he can hit this window. The problem is he put his tight end on, his, on a route because Joke had not been blitzing a lot of people. And Joke's going to send everybody. And you'll see right here, literally everybody. He sent, he sent seven and gets the stop. So pretty good defense there by Joke. Let me show you real quick. So you'll see here, Joke starts here. Pavin's first read is not this route. Pavin's first read is this, this route right here. Had he been on a streak, that's a touchdown, right? You see how hit or miss these plays can be, and you'll see here, Joke's able to deter it just long enough to get that sack. And Pavin's going to have to take his three. All right, Joke's just pounding the rock on offense. And we're going into the fourth. Things are going to get interesting here in the fourth, I can tell you that much. So Pavin's backed up here. You see Joke's getting really aggressive. He's sitting seven. I don't know if I like this decision, but let's see what happens here. He's got soft squats on the outside, which I don't really like that either. You can see the soft squats just don't do anything, but Pavin just can't make the read. Joke has confused him so much that he is hesitating in the pocket. 
that hesitation is allowing Joke to get the pressure. All right, here we go. So you've got mesh post, you've got the flat there, you've got the seam wheel there. And I just, I don't know why Pavin's doing this, but he sends everybody out on a route. Joke sends everybody at him. Pavin's able to hit his flat route, and he gets a grand total of a half a yard. We all know flat routes are not the way to go unless you're going to swerve catch them up. I just did not like that play call. All right, so right here, Joke's going to gear up. He's going to send the goons again. And part of why Joke's doing this is just to try to go after that safety. He's trying to force Pavin into the issue here. And you see here Pavin's in motion across, motion back across. He's got the flat here. The reason he's putting Tory Holt on a slant is because he's trying to bring Tory Holt across the formation and throw it, snap, throw it, and there you see there's that safety. So right there, what I want you to see, let me go back through that real quick. This is just a defensive masterpiece right now by, by Joke. So um, I'm going to break it down from the snap. So you see there he audibles. He checks to dime 146, and he's going to send everybody out of dime 146. So snap of the ball, you see literally he sent everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people are coming out of dime 146. Everybody's coming out of dime 146. He's got the cloud, so you can't throw anything quick. The only read Pavin has on this play is the slant route. That's the only person he can throw the ball to. I want to see this guy on a streak or a hitch. I want to see this guy on the slant or something. But Pavin is trying to attack these outsides and these delayed crossers, and Joke's just not giving him time to do that. Taylor May is one-on-one -on -one with that slant route. You can't throw that ball. There's nowhere for him to go. Absolutely nowhere for him to go. And you'll see here, Joke's going to go power O. He's going to get down in the field goal range. He's going to take his field goal. And now Pavin has one drive. The way Joke's defense has been playing, you think you've got him. But again, when you run an offense like Pavin, you can strike at any time. Guys, if you want to improve your game, what I want to encourage you to do is to become a part of our Discord server. Link to that is in the description. That's the best way you can improve your game. It's going to give you access to all of my content. It's also going to get you access to a free offensive and defensive ebook that we'll be releasing soon. All right, so on the bread drive right here, you see we've got a streak, we've got a corner, we've got a post route, right? It's almost boring how consistent. This is Pavin's route combination, right? This is his combination. You see here you've got three people coming. So Pavin's blocking seven. you got three people on a route. Joke's covering with eight, right? Here he's able to roll out, which is really good, but Joke's going to send the spy. And you see almost throws an interception. He did have the post route. He did make the correct read. But because Joke sent that spy, it took everything away. So Pavin here, he's going to go to that favorite. And this is, like I said, this is his route combination that he wants to run right here. Three-man route combo. He's got a corner. So he can hit that rollout, but he can't because Joke's going to blitz. He can do this cross post right in here. Or he can hit this post over top. And you're going to see right here, Joke sends a five. And he's able to, to get him through, but the backs are going to pick him up. So here he's going to start with the post. He's just going to stay on the post, and then he's going to come back off of it to the post. And that right there was one of the best reads I've seen all game. You see that right there, and that's what you forget about. In crucial moments, and this is why I want to see Pavan do more of this, coaching point is if you're going to put Playmaker on him, use it, right? He's used it a couple of key times. Now, granted, it's been clutch for him, but what he's going to do is this guy's going to be on a post route. Because he has the Playmaker ability, he can Playmaker him left, Playmaker him up, playmaker him down wherever he wants him to go so jokes momentum is going to be carrying him here and then he's going to jump over here it's going to leave a pocket right in here to be able to throw that ball and you'll see right here Pavin's able to do it right there that's great playmaker and a dot from Pavin. to me that route combo is much much harder to defend than some of the other stuff that he's been doing that playmaker is huge let's see what he does here All right, so second and 10 because he took the spike, which I like because he has no timeouts. Wide receiver cross. Here it is again, right? Corner. Now, Torrey Holt is – he's able to be playmaker, right? Remember that. So he can – if he gets a read over here, he can playmaker that route up. He can also 
if he would take this drag right here off of the field, he could playmaker that route to the right, but I don't think he'll do that. He's got the post, drag, corner. Joke should be sending everybody. He doesn't. He drops coverage. Now, look, there's nobody over here. Joke has to take this away manually. And let's see if Pavin can hit him. He's got the post, and he's just going to run. It's probably the safe play right there. Just get a couple yards. I don't think he expected that defense. You see how many different defenses Joke has ran? That's one of the things I do want to highlight. If you want to improve your defense and you, and you don't know what to do, just call different defenses, honestly, especially this year's game, and use our different places. Change it up on them a little bit. Don't let them fall in love. And that's a huge, huge, like, I don't know what happened here. To me, this is game over. Like, he's got Taylor Mays, and I don't think Joe clicks on. Oh, he did. He clicked on right there. But then Joke, I think what is happening is Joke is holding triangle. If Joke would have not held triangle, clicked on and drug him there and then hit triangle, he would have been able to get it. He gets sucked into a really bad animation, and Pavin's able to hit him. Now, one time for your mind, man. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti time. 11 seconds. You're in the Madden Bowl, right? What can you come up with here? What's your route combination? What do you do? He's got Tory Holt on the drag so he can playmaker him. I love that. And there he's able to click on. And you see this is the run commit. Joke literally, I just, I don't know if he would have got this. But Joke has him beat. Not beat, but I mean he has him, right? Joke's whole defense run commits. He accidentally run commits. He's probably trying to pass commit. And he accidentally ran commit. And you see all of his guys go forward. Pavin stays stall in the pocket, able to hit the rack catch on the right side, and he's going to win the game. As you can see, he's pumped. Joke is fired up. But that is today's episode of Film Study. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a big, big, big favor and be sure to send me a text message. Send me a text message. Let me know that you saw this video. Let me know what you thought of the video and if it helps you or not. Just what I wanted you to take away from this video is how much Joke changed his defenses up in the midst of the Madden Bowl. My opinion, it was a great game for both of them. And you saw one of the best offenses in the game. Um, really have a difficult time against obviously one of the best defenses in the game. So thanks for watching guys. And if you want to win more games in Madden, I got a couple of videos that you might like up in the top of the screen. Be sure to check those out and just make sure you get in the discord. Trust me. If it any worse comes to worse, you get a free guide for doing it. Thank you guys. And we will see you tomorrow.